and we accept lists that are given to us. If people on our list don't want Karen Stins uh, or don't want to receive emails, they can simply click on unsubscribe. And I believe you, you realize well, that's, that's, a, that's, that, that's a, a pretty vague uh, answer. We know specifically there's people that have never contacted anyone in the city, any other campaign, but the mayor's office. We need to get down to the bottom of it. Uh, somehow, one way or another, she has received, and we have proof, numerous times proof, that people are calling in right now and emailing us saying they've never contacted anyone but the mayor's office. How does Karen Stintz mysteriously have her email? There's a pattern here when people from Calgary have called us saying that they've never contacted the city outside of the mayor's office. We have an issue. When Karen Stintz his campaign is contacting senior management right at the city manager's level, asking for a donation for her campaign. That alone has bro broken the Toronto Act. It's illegal, and there's been information stolen out of the mayor's office. How Karen Stintz received it, I'm not too sure. But to come up with a poor lame duck excuse like that, she shouldn't even be in this race. What do you think about people who are on Twitter saying, oh, this is just a distraction now? Well, it's not a distraction, this is fact. We don't call in the police, we don't call in the head of HR, the city manager, unless we have substantial proof, not from one source, from numerous sources, coming in saying that Karen Stintz has contacted us and there's no possible way she would have our email outside of getting it extracted from from the mayor's office, one way or another. Okay. Okay. Right, Thank you. Thank you.